patch that's still up here. And we'll be done harvesting beans 2021. And yeah, I almost got stuck over there, so yeah. It's gonna be a nail biter here to the very last. <laughs> Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Organic Damon, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, the last day of November. Holy mackerel, the fall has really flown by pretty fast. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing pretty good. Um, it was kind of a late night last night, but uh, yeah, we're just chill trying to wrap up harvest here yet. And the reason why I say it was a lot late light, late night last night was, um, well, we were trying to combine some corn. We were all out of um, corn. We were all out of high moisture corn for the milk cows, so we needed to combine some more. We were just trying to get the finishing touches and getting our combine all ready to go. And anyways, so um, I was out there combining some corn and I uh, got the combine stuck, which it wasn't stuck too bad. And so we got, you know, it took a little bit of time. And so we had to pull that out and we got that pulled out. And then I had another little, I had another little accident, which didn't really make it get any later because I haven't fixed the, the problem yet. But anyway, um, I had this happen last night. I had this thing out and I backed into a tree branch. I don't know where the tree branch came from, but you can see it brushed up right up against here. And there's still some wood on there yet. Yeah, I don't know where that tree branch came from. <laughs> it was dark out and it even bent that thing there too. So I'm gonna have to take that off and fix that. I know you can get a kit and replace all that and I think I probably should, but for now, I guess I'll have to straighten it. So, anyways, yeah, so we got the combine, the corn head on there, and I still haven't gotten it all greased up. We just combined a little bit of corn last night just to have some for the cows. So I still gotta grease up the corn head. I gotta grease up just a few things in the combine, but anyways, that's not the only thing we got going on here today. Um, I, th I think, well, I need to, uh, I need to go over to this Sioux bin over here, this grain bin over here. We got to get the bin sweep out of there and get that bin ready to put a corn in because I think we're going to go over to the far away field and start combining corn over there. Well, probably won't be today, but maybe tomorrow. So 
we need to get that cleaned out and finish up getting the combine and do all that stuff and uh so anyway that's what's going on so we'll stick around and we'll see what all happens here today over the next course the next couple days or whatever however long i do this video so that's that Cornhead on the trailer. Cornhead is all greased up and ready to go. So, uh, oh, I still have not got that spout straightened, obviously. I'm gonna, I don't know what time it is here. I might not even have time here today yet to get it worked on. So, hey, I wish I would have bet that darn thing last night. Man, that thing ticked me off. <laughs> that happened. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, oh, I'm shifting this thing. So, anyways, I'm gonna drive this combine up in the yard, and then I don't know. Might just eat something. Might have to get started with chores because it's gonna get too late. But uh, it won't take much. Hopefully, it won't take too long to get that thing straight. that yeah finally got that thing straightened out so it's about as good as I'm gonna get it um, 
I guess this isn't the first time I've ever bent this thing. It's like the third time I've done something to this thing. So those spouts are just, they're just notorious on those comp, those TR combines for hitting something on there and bending them. But I might try seeing sometime if we get one of those plastic spout kits you can put on there. I've seen other people put those on their TR series combines. So we might try that sometime. That way you don't bend metal and hurt the end of the auger if you back into a tree branch. I still got to do some work on the end of the combine there yet. I think I'm going to have to take a load tracker and take a, uh, a tie down strap or something, pull back on the auger at a little bit of an angle because it, it crinkled the end of the auger a little bit and the uh, auger and this is like it's binding a little tiny bit. So I don't want that. So I'll have to do that tomorrow in the daylight. Use the load tracker you know, and um, a tie down strap, a heavy tie down strap. Try that. So. But it's not bad for how it looked, you know, earlier, but yeah, it'll never look like it did before it happened. But next time I'm going to watch out for tree branches. But anyways, I better get going with some feeding chores here so it don't get so late. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to day two of this video. And um, yeah, um, I'm gonna get ready to take the uh, combine up to the yard. I had it up in the yard last night, but it started raining out, so I put it out here in the uh, hay shed. So I still got a, obviously you saw I got the spout fixed last night, so now I gotta work at this a little bit. I just said it kind of, crinkle this here a little bit and it's you could just see that it's pulled a little bit that way so I'm, I'm gonna take it up the yard I'm gonna get the loader tractor and I am gonna try to, to put something on here to pull that back I'm gonna use it I got a tie down strap right here I'm gonna try that see if I can pull it back a little bit because I think this is binding a, a little bit here with this auger in here it works but it's it should be right so i don't know i gotta get this straight here too i gotta get a crescent wrench to get that straight i gotta fix this kind of what i'd like to actually do with that thing is make something like it's like kind of like a breakaway thing put like a spring on here is that you can set it with so much pressure that if something you do catch it on something you know make this pin so it's tapered both ways instead of one way Cause it's just kind of tapered one way but it's kind of taper that spring have it or that shaft so it's tapered both ways and then make it so it's adjustable so you can adjust the tension on it so if you hit something it'll just you know it'll just break away it won't bend the whole spout or damage the end of the auger it will it'll bend away just I think you could set it for like 50 foot pounds or something then it will break away if it exceeds 50 foot pounds pops away anyway i better get this up in the yard and uh Get that work down. I don't know what we're gonna do if we're gonna go over and combine any corn. My brother had to go to town and get a haircut. And when he got done with that, he's gonna drive out to the field, the far away field I'm talking, and uh, see how muddy it is. Cause it might be too muddy. We might just have to wait till next week. Cause it's supposed to cool down next week. Um, to the low 30s and the teens that night, it's supposed to get down into. So kind of one of those things, if you wanted it, when you want it to be cold out, it's warm out. When you want it to be warm out, it's cold out. That's kind of how the weather works.
Oh, well, good afternoon again, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to day three of this video. And as you can see, it's cloudy out. You saw in the time lapse video, it was sunny this morning and then it got cloudy as the day went on. So, anyways, what am I up to? What are we up to here today? Well, well, we were going to go and um, combine some corn, but my brother, like it, like I mentioned yesterday in the video here, that he said he was going to go over to that one. He was going to go over to that faraway field, check the conditions, see how it was. And um, Well, anyways, last night he brought some of the gravity boxes over there after he got back from getting his hair cut and stuff. Anyways, he drove the tractor a little bit out in the field and he could tell it was just, it wasn't going to work to combine. So, so we're just going to wait. It's supposed to cool down starting on Sunday. Um, the temperatures are supposed to get like down into the, the teens at night in the very low 30s Fahrenheit during the day. Well, below freezing or close to freezing or below freezing for the daytime temperatures next week so we're gonna probably do it next week so fingers crossed we don't get any snow like last night they said it wasn't supposed to rain um like the last two evenings and then it rained a little bit so last night we got i don't know just enough i don't know it might have been like a maybe a half a tenth of rain or something but it was enough to make things wet to thaw the ground out more so anyway so we're not going to be um taking any of the stuff over there to the field Probably gonna wait till sunny, but um, I should probably show you here. We did get the spout fixed, or I got it fixed on the combine here last night with a little bit of persuasion. So uh, yeah, it's fixed. It's not gonna be like new, but uh, but it's fixed anyway. It will work. It'll get the job done, and uh, that's that. But I do need to fix one little thing on here. I noticed here um, this is the return auger or elevator and there's a hole right there I should probably try to patch that up but I think other than that the combine is ready to go so I'll work on that and then I got to add some oil the tractor and the mixer wagon there that needs like a quart and a half of oil so I got to do that here but anyways it's gonna kind of work on stuff like that and see what we what else happens here the rest of the day that hole up huh well I'm assuming the best way to patch that hole up is to get some tin and some rivets I think duct tape would do it but it wouldn't last very long that's for sure because you got uh, there's all kinds of stuff that goes through here I mean, that chain I think is a little bit Yeah, that chain needs to get tightened or replaced one or the other. I'll uh, probably just tighten it. Oh, what's the best way? Yeah. Probably just get some, uh, I'll probably just get some tin and some rivets and drill some holes and do it that way. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but I got it done here. I got that thing patched up with some tin. One rubber didn't quite turn out good, but they got four or three other ones holding anyway. Anyway, that's done, so that should be sealed up. But I should really try to tighten this chain up, but it's kind of too dark in here right now to do it. It probably should be tightened up. But uh, yeah, just a little bit ago, there was a little bit of a rainbow over there. But check out that sunset over there ooh it's because the camera doesn't do it justice here but it is a nice sunset 
Ooh, the days are just so short anymore. Well, it's still 24 hours at the daylight. I mean, oh, I just don't like it when it gets dark so early this time of year. I hate it when you set the clocks back. I like the clocks. I'd rather leave it set at daylight saving time. I don't control that thing. But anyways, I suppose now I got that done. I'll go, maybe I'll go show you what I got done on the 4020 up there. Okay, I'm in the calf barn slash repair shed. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it right now. Anyways, you're probably wondering what have I done to the 4020 here since the last time I showed you. Well, I've been working on cleaning up the block here. I took in um, some, just as a very um, kind of a fine abrasive rotary tool, whatever you want to call it, just kind of lightly polished up the head just a little bit. Just, you know, not to take off any steel, just to kind of get rid of all the gunk. And then I've been working on cleaning out the, uh, down in here a little bit. I got all the O-rings out. I got this one, I took a wire wheel brush, worked on cleaning it. I got to get all the rest out, obviously. I got to get the crankshaft cleaned up the rest of the way. But it's been kind of uh, working on it. Ooh, that fell down there. Yeah, so anyways, that's what I've been kind of been doing, just trying to get the block cleaned up, get everything ready. I haven't taken anything in the machine shop yet. Just because, well, just haven't had the time. I will here eventually, but like I say, the biggest thing is getting that block cleaned up. It takes a little bit of time and you want to do it right. It's the most important thing. If you don't get that block cleaned up right, you're going to have problems. And um, I'm still trying to figure out why. Um, I'm not 100% for sure yet, but I'm trying to figure out why this thing was getting uh, when we sent the oil sample off for it that one time, I know I mentioned how many how many videos ago it was, but that um, there was iron in the oil. And I'm not for sure where it came from, if it was coming from the sleeves, because some of these sleeves have a little bit of scoring in them, or if the suspect is the oil pump. I know a lot of people said, or some people said you should replace oil pump, which I might just replace it. Um, it's got 14,000 hours, or over 14,000 hours on it, so... It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace the oil pump on here, but I don't know where else the iron would have been coming from. You know, yes, you could say, oh, is there a camshaft bearing out? Um, I've looked at the camshaft up in there. I can't see where that would be the problem. So um, I highly doubt it would be the camshaft um, bearings that were, would be out because, like I said, I could see them up in there and they all look like they're good, so... So, yeah, anyways, I just thought I'd give you a little update on that. I, and, um, I don't know, I might run to town here in a little bit. I gotta return some stuff I got over the weekend that for something else and it didn't work out. I wanna get my money back on that stuff, so. But, yeah, so that's the scoop on the 4020. Okay, um, well, it's that time. Yep, it's the end of the video. No, I did not go to town to do it. Um, just didn't work out. We're all done with chores, and uh, yeah. So I guess, like I mentioned earlier, about the combining, we're just going to have to wait for the ground to freeze to go back over and finish the corn in that far away field. So that's about it and it's already another month i forgot i gotta flip this calendar over it's december 2nd so oh man 2021 has flown by it was far as i can start 2021 is a year i hope that 2022 is better i said that last year about 2020 maybe 2022 will be a better year i hope at least weather wise i hope it's better <laughs> So, anyways, with that, that's all I've got. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter and on Gab and on Telegram at all at Organic Dairy. I usually don't post too much stuff on, well, I don't usually post anything on Telegram, but I, well, I guess I have, but I do post some things on Gab. So, 
Yep. It's a crazy, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. I don't even want to talk about it, but I'm tired. I need to get some rest and whew, that's all I've got. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.